You're on the wrong side of town, aren't you, Sheridan? <gasps> oh, yeah, well, she's not here voluntarily. I arrested her. You did what? Sheridan Crane is under arrest, Chief. Why? What the hell is going on around here? It's quite simple, Chief Bennett. Your officer over here is acting out one of his macho petty fantasies. It has nothing to do with the macho fantasy. Sam, I made a totally legitimate arrest. County Ordinance 452. Yeah, that's right. When an individual refuses I know protection. what a 452 is, Hank. Since when is Sheridan a menace to herself in the community? Since she feels she doesn't need a bodyguard 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> Since Officer Lopez Fitzgerald decided he knew what was best for me, as he always does. Well, you're alive, aren't you? Oh, here we go again with the you owe me your life routine. Look, that is not what I said. But you think it. Frankly, it's none of your business what I think. How can you say it's none of my business when you want to throw me in jail? Well, it's better than a grave. Look, you're a target, Miss Crane. Those drug guys, they're looking to kill you. I don't need watching over. When are you going to get oh, them and you to the You do not care if innocent people get in the way? Those French goons, they don't care. You know that. Look what happened in Paris. They went up, they shot up that hotel corridor, and they didn't care who was in the way. The only person in the way is you, Luis. In the way of my freedom! Oh, you are such a fascist. It's either your way or the highway. They've been going at it like this for a while. You got a whistle? There's only one. You don't run my life, Luis. Yeah, well, somebody's got it because you've got your head Luis. so far... Look, you don't want to accept the fact that you're in danger from Jean-Luc's pals. You think that the Crane name can help get you out of trouble. Well, I've got news for you. If I hadn't flown to Paris, you'd be pushing up daisies right now. And I'm sure as hell not going to let you die on my turf. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't care whether I live or die, just so long as I'm not killed on your turf. That's enough. I need to talk to you over here. Are you okay? I will be once, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald is out of my life. Can't be soon enough for me. I, just stop it. No more arguing. I need to make sense of all this. Well, hey, good luck. Sense? The man is certifiable. I do need to ask you some questions about you arresting her. Let's start with the personal. You don't think I can justify this? I think what you said earlier when we were talking about you trying to get Sheridan out of your head, do you think this is the way to do it? Fresh brood. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. You know, ordinarily, when I see two people go at it the way you and Louise do, I'd say they're crazy about each other. Well, you would be dead wrong. I could never fall in love with someone who just thinks of me as another statistic in the line of duty. Sam, my arresting Sheridan has nothing to do with me wanting to get her out of my mind. Think about it, Louise. I don't have to. Look, I arrested Sheridan strictly in the line of duty. The drug cartel targeted her. They want her dead. I know. There is a clear and present danger. Look, okay, I agree. The arrest is legal, barely. But if you just think about it, I have thought about it. First, you try to kidnap her for her own good. Then she has you arrested. So you retaliate by arresting her on the grounds that she's in violation of some obscure ordinance. Frankly, it looks like kidnapping all over again. No, that is it not... It is obvious to me that she means something very special to you. It's time to face it, buddy. Whatever your feelings for Sheridan, you're not even supposed to be anywhere near here. That's the deal you have with Julian, yeah, right? Sam, but and you're... if you broke the deal, Julian was going to reinstate the kidnapping charges against you. Look, this is a matter of public safety. You are risking jail time. Your family's going to be hurt. Who's going to pay for the mortgage? The health insurance? Who's going to send your brother and sister to college? Don't you think that I've thought of that? I have no choice. Look, Sheridan's not only risking her life, but the life of innocent people who could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. There is something between you and Sheridan, isn't there? This whole standoff thing has gone far enough. Hold on one second.
Sheridan, will you come here? Who is it? Crane security. My bodyguard. If you don't get a bodyguard, you're spending the night in jail. It's for your own good, Sheridan. This is Sheridan Crane. Who's this? Hi. May I please speak to the chief of security? Thank you. Oh, hi, Frank. I need a bodyguard. I'm at police headquarters. Yeah, that's right. You can send him straight over. You now she could have saved us a lot of trouble if she'd have just done this from the get-go. No. Too damn stubborn. Thank you. And you would have saved us all a lot of trouble if you weren't so macho. Macho. There you go with that macho thing again. You know, you really need to expand your vocabulary. Do you argue with Grace like this? <clears throat> Sometimes. Only because I love her. That's what I thought. If I ever see you without you know your bodyguard... Don't push it. All right? It's over. You've won. Wait, this wasn't about winning. No? Then what's it about? Your life, damn it. Just everything points to it being a random act of violence. Crystal didn't know the guy. She just happened to be there. Bugging going wrong. What was it? What, are you having doubts? Just considering other possibilities. Such as? Maybe Crystal had an enemy. Maybe it has something to do with the information she was going to give to Chad Harris. There's that, too. It's worth investigating. Miss Crane? Yes. Hi, I'm Mark McCarthy. Oh. Frank from security said you needed a bodyguard. Yes. Hey, Big Mike. Hey. How's it going? Well, and you? Good. Please. Mike? Do you know each other? <sighs> Mike was Harmony PD, but he left us for greener pastures. So, uh, you know what you gotta do, right? Protect the lady. You got something in writing? Yeah. Orders of some kind? This is so ridiculous! We gotta have something in writing, Sharon, so we're on the same page as what to do with you. Looks good. Okay. Checks out. Don't let her out of your sight. I'm good at my job, Luis. You can go now. <laughs> 